Hey guys, so today I'm going to be going over how you can detect port scans. Not only detect them on your Pine phone or your Linux box, but you can also, every time there's a port scan detected, I'm going to show you guys how to configure it to send you an email every time it's detected. We're going to be going over something called Port Sentry today. Now, you can set this up on your Pine phone or on your server. It's a easy to set up program that we can use to our advantage and we can have it send us an email or another kind of notification so we can have real-time third-party logging so even if say a hacker were to get in the system whichever one we're talking about and delete the logs or clean the logs and you know block every trace you'd still have that third-party logging in your email account letting you know what attacked you and what the IP address slash host name is. So let's go ahead and start. I am logged in on my PinePhone terminal. So we're doing this on my PinePhone. Running Mobian Linux, but you can run any Linux to take care of this. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to install SendMail and Port Sentry. Now we don't have to, so we're going to do apt install SendMail Port Sentry and then Y flag to answer yes to all questions. While that's going on, we don't need to run send mail in the background. We're going to be using it as part of our port sentry configuration. It's going to basically monitor specific ports. There's a lot of default ones, but you can also add your own customized ones. And generally, the first thing an attacker does is an attacker is going to port scan you and check out what services you're running. If you are targeted for an attack. You can pretty much guarantee you're going to get port scanned if somebody is trying to crack into your system or if they're just looking for random targets. So once this is installed we're going to go over the port sentry configuration file and all of this will be running automatically even if we don't do any configuration changes. So you don't have to worry about doing any of the configuration that I'm going to go over but as an option you can have that third-party logging where you can have your email account also storing the host name and IP address of those that are attacking. So now we have Port Sentry and we have SendMail. And SendMail is going to be used to send the email. So now we're going to go into the Port Sentry uh, directory and we're going to take a look at the configuration file. So we're going to open up Port Sentry.conf in slash etc slash Port Sentry. So now we're looking at the configuration file. As mentioned, you don't have to change any of this file. It's automatically running, and it's automatically going to detect and log into your local log file in slash var slash log. And we can see these are the ports that are going to be looked at. So if anyone connects to these ports, we're going to have a variety of ways to respond. We can block them. We can just have it by default, as mentioned, it's going to be in your slash var slash log and your journal. It's going to show up there, but in case something were to happen to our system, we're going to want to go down and we're going to, we're going to add something. We're going to have it run a command as a response. You've got IP tables, IP chains, you know, a couple different options here, depending on what you're running. Right now, as mentioned, we're using our Pine phone. So TCP wrappers, we're going to be able to block hosts from services, and that's another method we could use. But what we want to do is we want to send an email to a third-party server where we have our email stored. And this way, if somehow someone were to break in, we'd still have at least the attacker's IP address. So now we're going to use the external command. And what we're going to do is use the send mail we just installed in order to send ourselves an email letting us know the attacker's name. So here what we're going to do is we're going to uncomment this. And now what we're going to do is, in fact, let's start a new line and leave that example up. What we're going to do is, we're going to do echo, then we're going to do subject as the subject line of the email. Then what we're going to do is we're going to put target here. And what that's going to do is it's going to put our attacker in the email. 
subject. Then what we're going to do is we're going to have that pipe and then we're going to use send mail, which is the command, and we're going to put our email address. So here I'm going to put my email address for this example here. Okay, I have my email address. And basically what's going to happen is this, every time I get port scanned, it's going to do echo, which is going to print out subject. And then target here, that's going to be the attacker. And it's going to then pipe that over to send mail command, which is going to send the email to my email address. So now that I have done that, I'm going to go ahead and save it as portsentry.conf. I'm going to go ahead and exit out of there. I'm going to use system control, restart, port sentry. And what that's going to do is reload our configuration file. And now, when someone port scans, it's going to send me an email. And it's going to let me know who it was that port scanned and tried to connect. And I may go over some of the other settings. I wanted to do a brief overview. Now I'm going to run Nmap against my Pine phone just to test out our port sentry setup. Now I'm going to pull up system control on the Pine phone terminal now. I'm going to check on system control and then status and then port sentry to see if anything new came up. As you can see, it has attack alerts that just now happened, and they are coming from my laptop. I should also have an email that has the IP address of the attacking laptop. So anytime you want to check port sentry, you can run that system control status port sentry, and it'll show you if there's any real time or anything in this instance that shows up. If you have any questions on this, just re reply with a comment. I'm actually now over here on Odyssey, so check out Odyssey. I have all the videos up right now, and all the new videos are going to be on Odyssey as well. Of course, still on YouTube, still on BitChute. So like the video, share it, and subscribe, and I'll be back later with more on how you can protect your privacy in the Pine